This kangaroo is tired of the abuse at the circus, bored with being dressed up and used for their shows. He just decided to rebel against those who keep him there. No one understands if it's part of the routine or if it's real. Every face in the audience looks uncertain. Now another person tries to calm it down while the kangaroo rests on its tail. But the animal jumps up looking for a quick way out of its suffering. What this poor animal is going through is something you see every day, in many circuses around the world, just like these bison went through. The kangaroo is an example of how badly animals suffer in these places, dressed ridiculously and subjected to many moments of violence. His movements are erratic and only point to the fact that he wants to escape. Everything around him goes against his nature. He misses his land and his family while he is still there. He's trying to do his best to hurry up the show so he can leave. The kangaroo plays along with the human who keeps him there, subjected to applause and shame, and totally distanced from what really belongs to him, freedom. The violence between the human and the kangaroo is long-lasting. The animal is still there looking at the man and the public, but he was always ready to go on with the show he never agreed to. The best part happens after the show is over. He no longer has to look at the people who are applauding and laughing non-stop. He no longer needs to stand there or lean on his tail on the stage, nor does he need to be running after these people. The life of animals in circuses has been one of ups and downs. Information about abuses have stood out in the news. Estos animales eran sometidos a, a maltrato, eran amarrados de tal forma en el cual dejaban de sentirse animales. Eh, se sentían solamente como algo, como un objeto. Y, y en base a eso, eh, el humano se imponía para que el animal al final hiciera lo que él decidía, no había un trabajo de entrenamiento. La crueldad con la que fue tratado este animal, pero la tenía bien antecedente. Él seguía trabajando con esta situación, encadenado, eh, se le puso un velo para que no se le viera. Una afortunada denuncia ciudadana puso fin al martillo del animal, ahora rebautizado como Invictus. The story of that bear shocked the entire population. It was a living example of what happens in some circuses. However, there were animals that managed to escape from that and start a new life far away from the suffering. Paolo Tejera and his bears Tonito, Jack and Bambina have all left behind a life on the road with the circus and are now residents of a remarkable refuge in northern France. The circus industry has heard the thousands of protests so it has taken matters into its own hands. Of course, they've also realized how much damage can be caused when an animal is subjected to such stress and is completely removed from its natural habitat. For more than 140 years, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey made animals the star of the show. Now, people are taking center stage as part of a comeback. The decision by the historic circus was applauded by leading animal care and welfare organizations. That's the way forward, entertainment where no one suffers. Very exciting to hear the news that they plan to come back without animals. And it's really in line with society's feeling now, um, you know, progressing toward a cruelty-free...